you, cool kids. Welcome back to another episode of Persona Q2 on Risky Difficulty. All right, so we're going to continue on, and we're going to go see what this new movie is playing, is all about. Um, let's go. On a remote island in the distant sea. There exists a theme park of living dinosaurs revived through genetic manipulation. This one has dinosaurs. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. When the humans left, the island became a natural habitat for the once long lost creatures. This was a land ruled by the carnivores where the law of the jungle prevailed. Meanwhile, the herbivores struggled to survive in this harsh world. Desperate and powerless, they formed herds as they struggled to escape the carnivores. At this time, an evil rises from within the ranks, one that can't take a hint and fall in line. No one agrees with her, yet she continues to pose the herd with her opinions. Their opinions. Numbers don't lie, the majority rules. A useless opinion voiced by one lone dissenter is nothing but a nuisance. Will the righteous majority ever be able to silence the evil minority and finally find peace and tranquility within the paradise of ancient legend? The greatest, most massive dinosaur movie ever brought to screen. Junesic Land. Now showing. <laughs> What's going on with those dinosaurs? We're gonna meet Dino people? Great, another movie that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Right? It was just the same as it was with Kamashidaman. Like, it's making me feel kind of empty inside. It appears to be based on the principle of majority rule. The movie makes it pretty clear that whatever most people agree with is correct and no other opinions are valid. Whatever most people agree with, huh? Um, that's not really our kind of thing. I mean, we used to choose our targets based on their rep in society. But now we know better. We exact our justice without being influenced by society's whims. That's how the Phantom Thieves do things. Our methods aside, Ikari, is this the movie that you need to see? I don't know. How about you, Nagi-san? Do you have any knowledge of this film? No, none whatsoever. What's up? Oh, well, it's not that big a deal. But aren't normal dinosaur movies more like BAM or something like that? Yeah, yeah. And they're all like, rah, and kaboom, right? 
There's also roar. Oh yeah, and then it's all like boom 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 boom. Well, I won't comment on the explanation. I get your meaning. A dinosaur that wants to save her companion but can't speak up because of the majority opinion. This is supposed to be a dinosaur movie, but it's too realistic. As if we're watching the painful difficulties of human life. Mm -hmm. How anyone disrupting the peace is evil, and everyone constantly worries over how others th feel and think. This reminds me of the, um, the anime, uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, or whatever it's called. The same could be said about the Kamoshidaman movie, too. Why are the stories like that? This doesn't only apply to films. But creators include messages of some kind in their work quite often. In this case, I suppose the filmmakers are saying, cast aside who you are and conform to what everyone else does. What? Giving up on what you actually want to do for some bullshit like that? That's no different from just being dead. I agree. No matter what those around me may say, I have no intention of ever giving up on art. But then again, I can kind of understand the feeling of having to go along with others. Had I not met you all, I would have just gone along with what my company and the adults demanded of me. Is that movie that odd? Huh? You didn't think anything was off about it? I'm just curious why you're... Why do you feel so angry or sad about it? Deep down, that Donosaur wants to save her bud, but no one's willing to help, so she can't. That's a real bummer. But her companions were opposed to the idea. If they tried to rescue that one, everyone else would be put in danger. Still, it's possible they could get rescued. Then everyone would be safe, right? I think it's nonsense to make decisions without even trying first. Hikari-san, if you believe the movie should remain as is, then I'm fine with it as well. However, I'd only support that decision if you truly want it. I don't want you to repress your true self. My true self? That movie, I... Don't you want a different ending? A different ending? I hadn't even thought of that. Well then, for example, if you were that dinosaur, what would you want to do, Hikari? Me. 
You saw how Kamashita Man ended, and you were glad how that went, right? So, um, basically. If it'll change again, there's a different ending to this. I think I want to see that. Hantoka! Really? Sha! Nada Orotachini Makasetoke! Alright, then leave it to us. I mean, let's be honest here. If our way out involves changing the ending of these movies, um, I think we have to go anyways, regardless of what Hikari wants. Nah! Kono Egamo Mata Kaite Rose! Hey, Akio! Let's change this movie, just like the first one. Yeah. Ah, I agree as well. I believe changing these movies will lead us to our escape from here in the end. If we change these movies, we will lead us to our escape from here in the end. If we change these movies, we will lead us to our escape from here in the end. When we changed it, Ki came out of Do. You're banking on the same thing happening this time too, huh? That pattern hasn't been confirmed yet, but I think it's likely. Even more so when you consider how Do is the one playing these bizarre movies. Then that settles that. Let's go explore that movie, Akio. Well, it's time for us to get back into the action. Head us into the front line when you're when you'd like to change up the party. I apologize for the trouble we've caused. We'll continue to do our best from here on out. We're glad to have you back. Arigato. Thanks. I swear to help make up for our mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll put myself to use so I can repay everyone's kindness. Oh, new member! The team is more powerful than ever. Okay, they're officially part of the party. Well, let's go see if there's anything new in the shop. Yeah. No? Eat. Sick land. <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing! Where are we? It looks like the movie theater we saw earlier. I've never seen any of these plants before. They're incredible. Hmm. This is like a real jungle. I swear, some ferocious dinosaur could pop out at any moment. In Kamoshida Man, the characters that were in the trailer appeared just as we saw them. If naturally, follows that dinosaurs will appear in this movie. That's just unbelievable. So, yeah. Seriously. Well, it can't be helped if one shows up. Let's be sure to move with caution and stay on guard to deal with anything that could happen. By the way, I know we intend to change the movie, but what exactly are we supposed to do here? It was pretty easy to figure out with Kamashita Man. All we had to do was beat up the bad guy. 
not so sure it was as simple as that. Crow? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just talking to myself. At any rate, perhaps the dinosaurs from the trailer are the key to just changing this movie. The ones who were deciding things via majority rule, yes? According to the trailer, the dinosaurs seem to be arguing about whether or not to save their companion. The one who insisted on the rescue was spurned by the group for dissenting from the group. If we were to change anything, wouldn't that be the most likely place to begin? I guess we can give it a try. Oh. Indeed, we have no other clues anyhow. Why don't we just look for the loose dinosaurs? I agree. Let's start with what we can do. Hmm, seems like this place gets pretty complicated the further you go. Joker, make sure you keep the map drawing, just in case something comes up. Ah, this is a shortcut right here. Another shortcut. But these shortcuts are actually well hidden. <laughs> that doing in this old jungle? Remember the movie trailer? There seems to be a theme park where one can observe dinosaurs. Then it follows that these cages are for keeping the dinosaurs under control. It would be possible to move this. The base looks like it's built to be rotated, but more importantly, the story mentioned how humans have long abandoned this place. Looks like it hasn't been used recently. It the the head are then, are you saying up ahead there'll be... There could be tons of dinosaurs running around, both herbivores and carnivores. Holy shit, for real? Don't worry, I'll let you know if there's any incoming danger. Please do, Oracle. I'll be counting on you. Yeah, just leave it to me. Hmm. What's up, Fox? Well, I was thinking that it may be a good idea to come up with specific marks for the cages. Well, that does sound like a good idea. I think having one especially for those cages would be useful when noting them on the map. I want one of those too! So All right, how about something like this? A rotating cage icon has been added to the map on the bottom screen. Okay. Do you wish to check on how to use this icon once more? Has to help? I think so. But there's no downside in making the map easier for us to read. We'll make use of it after all. Okay, so. さっさと
任せてもらおうこの力でこの敵ならあいつを狙おう観念しろ見事だジョーカーユタフォーしたまかせとけってやっかいだな。これまでか。じゃあ逃げられる。やっかいだな。Oh、まだ、God. やれる。<笑>これ以上は無謀だ。引け。Alright, so. め疲れた。Holy smokes. 何を効能は保証いたしますよ。So, I noticed an immediate problem was that I'm pretty sure that, that, that Nuke Bane is going to be weak to only Psy.、Mm, which is not ideal. It's not ideal because I believe we'll have to fuse something that can do Psy. And I'm going, to, I'm going to assume I will not be able to fuse it at my current level. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to bring along. I'm, I'm sure it wants me to bring along Haru and.、Um, Haru and, and Makoto. Okay, so we need to, we need to like, consider things here for a second. What elements do I have? I have a persona. I have personas that can give fire, for sure. Okay, so the only element I'm missing is light. <laughs> so hopefully, that's not gonna be something I encounter. Alright, we came very close to dying. Immediately going in here, first encounter, so that's just, just great. <laughs> hopefully, with this better elemental coverage, though, we, we won't have that problem. There's something weird lying here. Ah,、oh, how magnificent! The hue, the lust of the form. It's overflowing with the aesthetic sensibility. Come on, Fox, do we have to do this again? It's got a hole in it. It's trash.、Mm, maybe, but it could also potentially be a p i s s to us. Why don't we have Theodore take a look at it when we get back to the movie theater? Noir's right. It'd be a waste to pitch it before having it appraised. True art is often overlooked by the untrained eye. Alright, alright, can you hold on to it, Joker? We should go consult Theodore when we return to the movie theater. Okay, so hold on. Hmm? Hmm? There's a lever of some kind on this machine. Oh, it 
seems to be related to that cage. If that's true, then it would be helpful. We'll be able to proceed further if we can rotate it. The decision is up to you, Joker. But if there's no way forward, the switch may be worth a try. Ah, I see. The cave rotates when you turn the switch. Yes, now we can keep going! Even though the humans here are long gone, the facility is still up and running. Quite fortunate for us. Huh, I'm getting multiple strong readings up ahead. They seem to be FOEs. Be careful! Wait, I'm getting other readings too. Huh? What could those be? Hmm, not shadows that I know. Different from FOEs and dinosaurs too. I don't get it. What is? I can't get a solid lock on them. I'm sensing a group of strong readings. But nothing more useful than that. Sorry! What could this mean? A group of strong readings. Could that be? Probably not, but... Hmm, looks like we have no idea what'll happen from here on. Be careful as we progress onward, Joker. Let's go! むちゃするなよ。ノアル。大丈夫。ちゃんとやるよ。行くぞ。狙える。待って。違う。よし、やるぞ。考え直すか。Oh my gosh. Axe guard activated. What is that? Haru, what are you doing? Tell me. I don't know what Axe Guard is, but it's amazing. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Holy smokes. That amount of XP was not worth this. Holy smokes. Little by little. Search cautiously. Oh my god, I did not want to fight anything. Oh my Okay, this went so much better. I got lucky though. Landing a crit. Line guard. Yep. Wait a sec! I'm getting an enemy reading just beyond your location. Can you handle it? No! <laughs> no! 
Sold he raises a good point. We have nothing to lose by preparing for the worst. We should regroup before entering. Holy smokes, no. Do you see what's happened to my party? Holy smokes. Get me out. Am I hurt anywhere? I am most certainly hurt. Oh yeah. Welcome everyone. I've been waiting for you. Please, this way. Now I hear you picked up a most interesting find in the movie world. If you don't mind, may I see it for myself? I show the unidentified item to Theodore. Good heavens, the craftsmanship. Like an artisan's last artisan's last masterpiece. Such elegance and simplicity. Truly it is a work of art, and nothing less. Now curiosities like these usually contain hidden power, but it feels oddly empty. Can you fix it? A work of this quality? Well, I fear I can't craft one myself. But at the very least, I could reawaken the power within it. Um, if you happen to find any more, could you bring them here? If you allow me, I can reveal its true value and draw out its full power. You'll now be able to appraise unidentified items and restore their original power. I am at your service. At the shop in the theater, you can appraise unidentified items. These pro this process will turn ambiguous sundries into useful stat boosting accessories. Such accessories found in the movies tend to be superior to the ones you can purchase. So get your stuff appraised. こちらをどうぞ。こちらをどうぞ。何を売っていただけるのでしょう。さあ、Oh my god. Literally the first encounter I get when I walk in here. I'm not even joking. Holy smokes. I'm, I'm amazed I didn't die. <laughs> I like, I admit, I'll get, I'm getting lucky. But... Holy smokes. Like, I can't... I can't proceed beyond where I'm at. Because, like... <laughs> I will just flop over and die. Iza, you come? I need to really use... Poison and Confuse more. Like... Yep, let's do it. I can't be in a better situation than I am right now. Very well then. Let's keep going. Hey, here they come! Look out! Alright, that's gonna be... Holy smokes, that's a lot of them. <laughs> they just keep coming! We'll take them out one at a time. Wait, Skull, I got a better idea. Don't you think we've gotten used to fighting in this world by now? Oh. Indeed, my movements have become much more fluid than before. But we're forgetting an important part of how the Phantom Thieves fight, yeah? Hmm. Oh, you mean Baton Passes! Correct, impressive, Panther. We use Baton Pass, we'll gain the advantage! So, yeah. That's right, our fighting style should work for us in this world, too. Yep, it's business as usual for us. Let us know when you're ready for one, Joker. Uh, right now? 
Baton Pass has been added to your support skills. Baton Pass allows you to transfer one party member's boost to another. Baton Pass can be accessed by pressing the X button and selecting it from the support skills menu. Try to transfer a boost to an ally whose skills would be the deadliest in the current situation. Oh, that is not anywhere near as useful as it should be in this world. Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> Looks like everyone's on a roll. Let's keep it up. All right, time to continue exploring. That was pretty intense, actually. What is gross Rafflesia plant? Oh, another one of them uh, spinny things. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> oh my god, yes, make this shortcut now. Oh my god. <laughs> In fact, I'm so excited about this shortcut. I am leaving right now. Holy smokes. <laughs> like, I barely did anything, but I don't care. That was worth getting that shortcut. <sighs> god, I... I know that it doesn't feel like it, guys, but I've nearly been recording for like two, for nearly two hours now, and it has just been a dog of a fight to get through all these things. And I know it's not going to get any better. <laughs> I should probably, like, work on this map, but I'll probably do it in between the next episode. Everyone, look over there. Whoa, it's huge! Is that a bird? Those wings have quite the interesting profile. I'd love to do a sketch of it. Isn't that more of a flying reptile than it is a bird? The Pteranodon is a pretty well-known specimen from that family. Hey, wait a sec! Be careful! That's an FOE! What? Well, it looks like we can't just kick back and gawk at it. So it's not a bird. Still, it's definitely worth observing. I really should sketch it. Oi. Weren't you listening? It's an enemy! And an FOE at that! I suspect we'll be critically injured if we were to get attacked by such massive wings. We should be careful. You know, all this talk about birds is starting to make me hungry. What if there was a chicken that size? Couldn't make a shit ton of fried chicken out of it? Oh man, how many servings would that even be? My stomach just growled. I wonder if fried FOEs would taste good. I feel like they'd give me an upset stomach, but I'm still curious. Wanna try catching one for a taste test? On second thought, we could end up being the meal. Make sure you don't get chased down while you pass it by. Arrows 
icon colors show the disparity between your level and that of the FOE. As the disparity lessens, the color will go from red to yellow to blue to white. You ought to avoid confronting FOEs with levels far above yours. Oh. Thank you for that. What is this? I'm a little nervous about this check spot because I've, I've got somebody dead right here, so I need to come back and mark a check right here. Come back. You know what? I don't know where that FOE went. I'm I'm going home. You should go home. Sort that out afterwards. <sighs> Alright. I am really weak. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm gonna grind, but I it's gonna take me quite a bit of energy going back and forth to like make any real progress. So I'm thinking uh I'm probably gonna call it for this episode, because very likely, I need to uh, work myself to a point where I can get to this spot without continuously dying or getting near death. I don't know if this means using some more personas or what, but it's gonna it's gonna take some time. And this recording's been going on for two hours, so I don't know how I'm gonna edit this episode. But if it's a short episode, it's because this game got really hard. <laughs> but anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.